so we will see where is the issue so here in the ascending limb of loop of henle you can see this transporter one sodium one potassium two chloride co transporter this one transporter one more the chloride transporter so you can look at here this is a potassium channel where potassium will efflux out okay so all this sodium potassium two chloride co transporter because sodium and potassium na plus potassium is k plus will go inside to maintain the neutrality two cl minus also will go inside potassium will come outside whereas cl will be reabsorbed and because of the electrochemical gradient calcium and magnesium will be passively it will diffuse here okay there is no separate transporters but because of the electrochemical gradient which is created by these transporters co transporter potassium channel chloride channel here calcium and magnesium will passively diffuse coming to the gitelman syndrome this is another renal tubular transport defect which is taking place in our distal convoluted tubule okay what happens here this is also considered as a variant of barter syndrome but the presentation here it is late gitelman we will not see see it is man right so it is present in adolescence or only in adulthood and it is um, and it is very uh, subclinical not much of symptoms also in gitelman syndrome okay so it is a variant of barter syndrome autosomal recessively inherited and the defect here it is in the distal convoluted tubule what happens here is there is hypocalciuria but in barter there was hypercalciuria because calcium will not passively diffuse across the loop of henle that cell so there will be so much loss of uh, calcium and hypomagnesemia in gitelman syndrome here you can look at this channel over here trpm6 okay trpm6 channel or transporter is responsible for the reabsorption of magnesium which is defective in our gitelman syndrome okay so definitely in all cases there will be hypomagnesemia but in barter syndrome hypomagnesemia will not be present and there will be hypercalciuria but not hypocalciuria this will resemble your thiazide diuretic usage